Welcome back. The Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church Cemetery holds history on one man buried there is considered a Shreveport icon. NBC 6's Miriam Samake joins us now in studio honoring black history. Miriam? Well, hi, Dane and Jackie. C.C. Antoine is called the father of modern Shreveport. He was a revolutionary in the 19th century, but his legacy lives on. Cesar Carpentier Antoine. He's a soldier. He's a statesman. He's an entrepreneur. He is a uh, truly an activist. He's a, he's a shaker. Better known as C.C. Antoine, he is considered a powerhouse in Louisiana by historians, but many of his accomplishments go unnoticed. Professor of History Gary Joyner spoke of the soldier's life from his service in the Union during the Civil War and beyond. In the Reconstruction period following the Civil War, he was a state senator and became lieutenant governor and was an acting governor for, for a short period of time. One of three black Republicans to hold office in Louisiana during that time. He survives being a black politician in Reconstruction ending in 1877 with a good reputation and whites appreciated him, understood him, and and there was no punitive damage against him as there were with almost every other black politician. C.C. Antoine was also an entrepreneur and a businessman. He would buy food on wholesale, fresh produce as well as canned goods, that type of thing, liveries it used to be called, uh, and he sold to small grocery stores across the state. He fought for desegregation in New Orleans on public transport. Trolleys, the railroad, um, and also to get free or equitably distributed textbooks to both black students and white students. And he's considered the father of modern Shreveport. He sponsored a bill that changed Shreveport from a town to a city. Cesar Carpentier Antoine died in 1921, and despite his accomplishments, his grave was unmarked for almost 80 years. Professor Joyner was part of a coalition of residents, civil rights activists, and sons of veterans who honored him with a military headstone. He more than deserved it. I couldn't, I couldn't live with myself if I knew where he was in an unmarked tombstone in a, an unmarked grave. He now lies under a, a, a very brilliant white, uh, you know, Indiana marble uh, federal tombstone. Gone but not forgotten, Cesar Carpentier Antoine lies to rest, and his legacy lives on in the city of Shreveport. And that cemetery is full of historic graves and continues to serve as a resting place for members of the Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church. The site stands as a monument to the resilience of Shreveport's community. Dan and Jackie. Good perspective. Miriam, thanks so much for that.